Hey guys, it's Jennifer from Breakthrough Maths and welcome to this video on how to find the point of intersection. So here we're told we have to use algebra to find the point of intersection of the lines k and l. And we can see that we're given their equations here. So k is equal to y is equal to x minus 1 and the line l is 2x minus 3y is equal to 6. So a really important thing that we have to notice here is that they are arranged in different ways. The first equation has y equal to an x and then it has the number. But then the second equation has its x, its y equal to a number. So the equal to are in different places. We want it to be in terms of x, y equal to a number. So we'll arrange them both this way now. So starting off with line k, we want our x on the left so it'll become minus x when it moves across. The y can stay on the left as plus y equal to our number which stays on the right as minus 1. Line L is already in this order. It has its x, it has its y, and then equal to its number. So we've that step one done now. Now what we have to look at is what are the numbers in front of the x's. So we can see the number in front of the first x is minus, which means minus 1. Minus x is the same as minus 1x, so you know that there's an invisible 1 here, so that number is minus 1, and in front of this x we have 2. So if we remember back to simultaneous equations, because that's how we're going to find the point of intersection, we multiply each line by the number that's in front of the x on the other line. So, excuse me, the top line here will be multiplied by 2, and the bottom line will be multiplied by minus 1. So if we multiply 2 into this first line, we'll have minus 2x, 2 by y is plus 2y, equals to 2 by minus 1, which is minus 2. Then on the second line, minus 1 multiplied into all of this will give us minus 2x. Then we have minus by minus, which will give us plus 3y, equals to 6 by minus 1, which is minus 6. Our next step is to draw the line and change the signs. So this will change to a plus, this will be a minus, and this will be a plus. So the minus 2x and the plus 2x will cancel out. The 2y minus 3y, which will give us minus y. And then we'll have minus 2 plus 6, which will be equal to 4. So all we can do here is just switch them around and we can say minus 4 is equal to y. So we just bring them across the equal to sign flip sides and we have y is positive so y is going to be minus 4. Now we need to find x. So we'll take the first equation here. So we'll have minus 1x plus y is equal to minus 1. We fill in what we just found for y as minus 4 and we'll have minus 1x minus 4 is equal to minus 1. We'll keep the x on the left so minus 1x is equal to minus 1 plus 4. So we'll have minus 1x is equal to minus 1 plus 4, which is 3. So we know minus x is 3, because minus 1x is the same as minus x. And we do the same thing as before, we just flip them over to the opposite sides, and we'll have x is equal to minus 3. This means that the point of intersection is minus 3 minus 4, because the x comes first and the y comes second.